Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And today I just wanted to do a very um, simple, relatively quick, uh, easy tutorial on the new version of VSDC Free Video Editor. Now this video editor is more of a package than, an actual, than just the individual editing program. Here's the link up here. And here's the download option. Once that is finished downloading, I'm just going to close it out because I have it installed. Once it is finished downloading, install it obviously. And you're going to see a window just like this. They've definitely made things a lot more simpler <laughs> with this. Uh, so this is the screen that you would get right here. Um, if you want to upgrade to Pro, there are a couple um, pros to having the Pro uh, VSDC, but we're just not going to get into that right now. Using the video editing option is really um, why I use why I downloaded this program, and I can do pretty much anything I want in there uh, without having to uh, activate it. So, as a package, it has a lot of stuff. So where you see my mouse at right now you cannot use this unless you have pro but everything else you can use so you just can't use video stabilization which is who cares um, you can do video converter which allows you to um, import I'll just show you real quick <clears throat> it allows you to import files into here and then change them over to uh, any other format that you want or you can also burn them as a DVD disc as well, which is pretty cool. So once you put your file into here, uh, do something simple, something small. Um, I have it to DVD. So uh, do, do, do. I would convert it to, um, what should we call? I can convert it to DVD, to MPEG, uh, to something that would be uh, playable on the iPhone, iPad, something easy for anything on the web. So typically you would do it for YouTube. Or if I really wanted to, which is kind of cool, I can convert it to a, uh, a GIF or GIF, whatever the hell you call it, uh, where it's basically just going to be essentially a, an image file, um, but with no audio. An image file with no audio, obviously, but it'll play the whole scene through. So you can, and you would go to export and convert all this stuff. So fun thing to play around with. Um, but so now let's go over. So next thing you can obviously do, or not obviously do, but you can do a video capture where you're just using your webcam. You can probably see the top of my head. Maybe there you go. And all the the glorious combing I've done with it. Um, you can. Do, do, do. This is fucking weird. Just looking at my head. Look at the fan. Uh, so this is obviously where you would just use your webcam. Um, and to do so, unless you have another kind of video recording device that you can use, um, that's all this really is. So as long as you have the driver installed for your webcam, you can use this instead of using the manufacturer software. Close that out. Uh, screen capture, pretty cool. Uh, very easy, very simple to use. Mostly, every all the defaults are actually pretty set up for you to work, and uh, you basically just go in to start recording. Uh, adjust different things as you need them to. I had to do that uh, in order to not have the static in the background for um, when I was uh, using my microphone. So. But this is, a, this is another free screen recording program. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, but there are not a lot of advanced settings in here. But it does work as just that very simple tool of recording your screen with your voice. Uh, next option, voice recorder. Obviously, it's self-explanatory. Record your voice. Record whatever you're doing. And then convert it to any kind of format uh, that you so desire. Very easy stuff. You can change the quality, change the device that you're using, and all that good stuff. Da, da, da. Okay. 
Uh, disk burner you can use uh, to burn data disks. So this is where you would just uh, pop in a DVD, whatever, a dual layer, it doesn't matter. Uh, throw in some files in here. Burn the disk. If it's a rewritable, you can erase the whole disk. doesn't matter if it's a CD or a DVD. Um, and then the YouTube uploader. I believe you would have to obviously sign in here. So whatever. So you, you would sign in, get your file, and you can upload directly from here. I don't really personally use that. But let's get into what I really wanted to show you. Um, that's just all there um, as bonus features. So we're going to create a new project. We'll call it Project 1. Uh, you can fill in all this information as needed. And the one really cool thing that they did with BSDC was add 4K conversion, which is freaking awesome. So this was the highest it went to before. Um, I like 69 ratio better than uh, the 43 ratio. Uh, and if somebody has um, a monitor or TV that can view 4K, um, and you have a, a video card that you can view 4K, you know that you can view 4K as well without all that uh, buffering and lag, then it's a pretty cool feature. So, but I'm just going to do full HD. And go to finish. All right, what the frick am I doing? Full HD. Dun, dun, dun. I thought this was a blank project. Okay, finish. All right. So now we have our blank canvas of our video editor, and very simply, uh, to add an individual file, you would use this pane down here, and click on that little camera roll there and we're just going to add a very simple file you can decide the position where you want it but just click OK you'll be OK and there's our file that's how it is if you want to just go directly from that and export it um, so we're going to go through through some very simple very simple things that uh, BSDC has to offer um, so and over here you see the properties window you will see a whole bunch of um, things that you can edit just by clicking on them you can change the duration on it manually and all that good stuff so uh, there's even an option if you were to add um, another video in here to loop to continually loop uh, the video as well so I'll show you that really quick so I click on the GIN folder and loop mode, show last frame, and you can loop the video and then continually drag out the video. So you can continually drag it out and so forth and change. Um, you can see the duration is changing, but you can change that to whatever you want. So we could make that 59 seconds, click out. That's how long the video is now. And now if I want, I'm just going to close it back down. Uh, obviously, the next thing we can do is we can add uh, music. Um, a little cool little music file that I have. Uh, if it decides, it's a relatively large file, so it might take a second. And so here we go. So now that's in there. It is obviously much lo longer than the video file so I'm just kind of shrinking it down here and here so if I go to preview it'll preview everything so the video so in that preview it would play um, the original video file and then the mp3 file as well you can adjust the times accordingly to match up um, and yeah and you can even mute uh, if you wanted to actually just mute the entire video click on the video file scroll down and then do, 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 do audio track you just use don't use audio and then after that when you would pre when you would preview it um, all that will be playing would be this right here. So um, let's see. I'm going to cut this out. I'll leave the video file in. 
and let's see. Now here are some at the this, the top up here, these tabs. Um, the one we'll be using, that we would use the most, I think, would be editor. And that's where, so we click on the video file, we click on editor. Uh, they have the cutting and splitting option. This is if you need to, um, whatchamacallit, so we're playing, playing a part of the clip. And they're like, okay, we want to start it right there. So we don't want anything before this part. We would drag that cursor over there and then cut that whole region out. So now it just starts at here as where before it started at where his eyes were. Uh, another cool thing is when you're in the cutting and splitting, you can take a screenshot, uh, which is actually very difficult to do unless you're using um, a program. So all you do is click this. Uh, it just goes into your pictures. And now we're going to apply our changes and click yes. It changes the whole duration of the uh, video. And then we're going to look at video effects. And I'll just show you some really simple, easy, it's all very simple, very easy to use. Uh, so video effects over here, special effects. Um, we'll do uh, aging TV. Or we'll do smoke, we'll do smoke, whatever. We'll do that. And so, let's see. We have our, and you can see it's already showing up right here. Click preview. And even though my rendering is a little bit slow right now, because I'm doing quite a few things, you'll see that it has that smoke feature, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also, um, so I'm going to undo that, edit undo, and let's see, click on, and then we're going to go to video effects, just show you one more little cool one, um, we can do TV, uh, aging TV, okay, that's fine, and then we can preview everything, so Kind of looks. You kind of see these in some of the videos where they have this uh, this busted up TV feeling to it. Uh, but I'm going to edit and undo that as well. So these are just some cool little video effects that you can add. Um, and then if you have other videos in here, you can do trans transitions as well. Um, these are all the quick styles. You can change it to anything you want it's really cool it's uh, and it's cool that it's free so um, doo -doo -doo. yeah so that's all pretty simple stuff here we can change the make it upside down whatever the hell we want there uh, we can add a counter to it which is actually interesting and I, I've never really seen the uh, the use for this for me personally but if we go to preview, we'll see a little counter up there and where the video is at. Close that out. Edit, undo, undoing, rotate, 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 undoing, all that. So we're back to our original uh, video here in the editing section. And audio effects. So these I haven't really, this I haven't really messed with. Uh, too much um, and I think you actually would have to have an audio file in here to do it um, but those I, ha I haven't really played with too much and I for me I don't really need to mess with the audio so um, yeah so let's just go back to edit um, scene zero again view, editor, uh, export project, and now this is where we would look at how we want to save it. So, I'm going to do PC over here, all profiles, eh. <clears throat> and I would typically do, uh, let's see, let's do AVI, and then do highest quality is what I would do <clears throat> and it shows you the pixels that it's going to be in if you did initially put it as uh, 4k 
then it would do that. And so once you're once you have your format decided, you would just go to conversion and click start conversion. And then there would be your file in any kind of um, format that you wanted and any kind of quality that you wanted. Uh, the biggest thing here, and I mean, it's like Movie Maker was really good, but it was like too simple. There's a lot of really excellent uh, benefits to this properties window over here and in what you can do. Uh, VSDC has an excellent uh, uh, forum or whatever uh, frequently asked questions. Um, even on their own YouTube channel where they show you how to make copies of yourself I mean you can do things like put videos next to each other and play them at the same time I'll show you that real quick it was literally just that okay so if I did it like that I'm just grabbing the video and making it however I want um, these two videos when I click preview they play at the same time you might have two different audios, but you will have the audios of where they're at, but that's how you would do that. <clears throat> and then after that, I think we are pretty good to go. Okay, here we go. We're Here's our audio effects. Amplify, fade in, fade out. Okay, so like towards the end of the video, you can fade out the audio and all that good stuff. You can fade it in in the beginning. Um, I, I did I actually did use the reverse one and it was just weird because it played the whole video um, in reverse in Japanese for me and it was just really strange so but these are just a whole bunch of cool little things you wanna that you can mess with but I definitely I highly recommend the VSDC video editor simply because I do like the editor itself but it does have those um, other pro uh, essentially their own little programs inside of this package so like the screen recorder and all that good stuff so um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, definitely check this out uh, and start uh, start saving your files as 4k so uh, thanks for watching